Hey everybody, Guy of Total Geek Live here, and with me, as always, is B, Danny, and Kaiser. Ah. Oh, whoa, that got that got real scary and real real. <laughs> All right, so we are doing another trailer trashing today, and as you know, we're here to tell you if it's uh, worth your cash or worth some trash. So today we're going the video game route, and we are talking about Sega's new. Uh, release that's coming out the upcoming Tuesday, Sonic Mania. Sega. So apparently, he's apparently just lost it. He's gone manic, so it's crazy. <laughs> All right. He's a mania, mania for Sonic. Ooh, yeah, how did they not license that for a trailer, right? Right. All right, I got the trailer queued, and okay. I am starting it now. Oh, good, E. Lyle. Hey, I'm everyone. Good for you. Oh, it's like storybook. No, screw that. It's a cat. Oh, wait, no, it's a lion. It's, <laughs> nope. it's... No. Oh, there he is. Ooh. It's an Ankita. Oh, now he's stomping. Tapping that foot. Boom. Look out, ladybug robots. Today, <laughs> Sonic returns. In a world. Is that another Whoa. Part? That's there. everybody. Apparently you can switch on the fly. Really? That's cool. Were you able to switch on the fly before? You were not. You're switching again. It's getting crazy. Whoa. Must be why it's for the switch. Oh. Oh, snap. Run. Uh -huh. Okay. Get those rings and fly. Hey, I'm still with you. Climb. And they're asking a lot out of me. <laughs> Look at that. So I guess they didn't have the animation ready when they did this trailer, so they just... Oh, never mind. It no, went... it's sponsored by AHA. <laughs> AHA! Take, Take him on. Gone Sonic. Digital pre-order available now! Wow. Looky there. Very cool. All right, so that's the new Sonic, and it is definitely like the old Sonic. Um, that's how so, most people like their Sonic, apparently. Oh yeah, um, you know, I I think it's kind of cool they're going old school because there's been like eight million Sonic games. Because we were talking about that earlier, I was like, how many are there? And I'm like, I don't know. I think uh, Mega Man is probably the only contender with an absurdly high amount of. Uh, sequels uh, right they're doing series. this little race together right yeah they're, they're, uh, well they're both blue so i guess that yeah. kind of works out blue characters yeah. right. um and this one's different for a couple reasons because it's uh obviously going way back to the genesis days you can straight up see like the the old genesis titles there but uh this one's being done by the fans literally uh, oh, christian what oh go ahead i so i said i was literally just saying that's cool <laughs> Yeah, and it, and it is, and we're going to be, it's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out, because uh, Christian Whitehead, who's doing the project, heading up the project, uh, you know, he made the, the fan games, uh, he did a series of Sonic fan games, because there's always fan art, fan whatever, because everyone likes doing their own things, mm -hmm. uh, and he made it pretty accurate to what, like, the old Genesis games are like, because they, they felt a certain way, and, uh, you know, he was so good at doing these fan games that Sega got him to do ports like for the phones and pc of uh, sonic 1 2 and, and sega cd sonic cd oh. oh wow so he's done some stuff. another one of those uh you know from fan to creator type of situations that's really neat yeah yeah and hmm. uh unlike nintendo which will is notorious for shutting down fan projects it's like i i guess Sega kind of realized there's a point where obviously companies want to come kind of do their own thing and not be bound by fan requests because John and I both know from our Mortal Kombat days because you get some really crazy ideas. Um, and, but yeah, it's like all of it's not going to work despite your best laid out plans. But I, I think after years of uh, Sega hitting walls, eventually uh, they're just like, all right, what, what do you really want this to do? Here, why, why don't you show us what you want? And here we go. All right. Nice to be able to have to have 
not necessarily input, but be at least in the same room type of speak. Uh, oh, so yeah. Speak. Yeah. yeah, and being, going back to those roots, you know, they've had so many 3D iterations of Sonic that, you know, none of them outside of, I think, Sonic Adventure and maybe Sonic Adventure 2, everything past that has been just marred with bad reviews, and um, I don't think there's been a great 3D one since. Um, they When they do the 3D with the, in a were like a 2.5D, those have been pretty well received. Um, like Sonic Colors, um, I believe was done that way. Um, mm -hmm. And then the Sonic, Sonic Generations. Did I say Generations, which was the last one I played, which I really enjoyed. I thought it was done oh, yeah. really well. Um, so going back to the roots where it worked, where you know people had fun with it, I mm -hmm. think was was the smart move. Although you know, right. I didn't. I didn't grow up with the Genesis, and so I haven't really even started playing the the Sonic games till the past like maybe five years. Um, really? Yeah. Um, on Utom you. Utomic, uh got a lot of the Sega library on it, and when I was a, a ninja for them, I was uh, I got played through Sonic CD, and mm -hmm. um, really enjoyed it. And I was like, wow, you know, I guess I missed out not having a Genesis growing up. So, <laughs> oh yeah, man, Genesis was a great guy. It was a, such a great system, and you know, I, I like that the artwork and and the the looks like the the level game there the levels um, really throws back to the '90s nostalgia of one, two, and three, um, and right. you know, a, a lot of the generation now, the young generation now, are there. There's a big fan base growing for Sonic and they're going back and playing those um, older games and, and really realizing how fun of a platform it was. Um, and I think this, I think this is going to do well both with our generation and then the younger, the younger gamers that are out there. Yeah. Bring them on board. I wonder, mm -hmm. I wonder if the, um, the, I guess hesitation to really enjoy and, and, uh, like the 3D version is due to the fact that it started with 2D and that's the kind of like heart, like that's mm -hmm. where they enjoy it the most. And then the 3D versions, the gameplay, I guess, just didn't come across well or because it's, you know, was just too jarring. What do you, I mean, I mean, obviously back to the 2D versions because that was, I guess, the most successful ones, right? Oh yeah, the I mean in 3D it's capturing that speed and and the gameplay they you, they never quite figured out how to marry the two as well. Right. Um, okay. When it worked best is when you, you kind of got on rails, you know. Yeah. And being on rails is basically being 2D, you know, like uh, okay. a, a linear progression at mm -hmm. least. Um, yeah. When it gets mm -hmm. open world and you're trying to do platforming and you got tiny platforms in the 3d world and you're going really fast hitting those with the speed just makes it that much more impossible it's already daunting right. to navigate you know platformers in the 3d world and when you add speed to that it just becomes untangible yeah, yeah I, I agree i think the speed's the big factor because i mean mario is one of the few franchises that successfully went from 2d to 3d yeah, and back and forth that. again yeah and um uh, you, you get a character that's based off how fast he can go and then you're running into big open worlds and walls and if you hit things fast enough it causes problems and a lot of games are like super glitchy i mean if you look at i don't even know if it was a reboot sonic 06 sonic the hedgehog it was simply called but sonic 06 it, if you ever watch videos of it um online it's 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 messy i mean he gets stuck everywhere and he, he uh it falls through world and i mean all these things it just doesn't go well uh you know it's one of the things i'm glad to see him return to his roots i think sonic is better suited for the 2d world in fact you know there are three franchises that i just don't think do well in 3d and i think they should stay in 2d and that would be castlevania Mega Man and Sonic. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I agree there. 
<clears throat> so what really opened my eyes with with this particular game coming out is the collector's edition mm -hmm. and while it has some really nice features or trinkets um there's something missing <laughs> like, what would that be um a physical copy of the game it's 2017 who needs a physical copy of anything I give you it. But you're <laughs> it's the collector's edition which you're paying a premium for. Yeah, you get a premium little so statue. It's not really a collector's edition of the game, it's a collector's edition of the things that are with it. The things <laughs> that are with it. Right. That are based on the game that you don't get a copy of. <laughs> and you kind of do, but it's just a digital download. That's it's an interesting just, way to go. Just, Oh, so it's a collector's edition of zeros and ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get a nice statue. It's Sonic standing on a Genesis. Oh, I know. I know. It looks great. It looks great. Why can't the Genesis open up and there's the game yeah. right there? So, your physical yeah. copy. Or you plug the Genesis into your TV and actually play the game off that statue. Yes, because what happens if the cloud... Disappears? Disperses. Evaporates. Yeah, evaporates. And I don't have that physical copy that I'm I can a, hold I'm on not to. I'm a meteorologist. I don't hold these answers. <laughs> so is, there, is there actually no physical copy of the game at all? Did they produce that or no? Um, well, that's the thing because it's like a lot of rumors have been leaking lately that uh, GameStop uh. accidentally uh, dropped like a pre-order page for uh, a physical copy, which whether that's true or not or will happen or not uh, – you know, because I'm thinking a lot of fans definitely want a physical copy. I mean, I I, I still collect physical games, so I mean, I, I would love a physical copy down the line. But, um, you know, whether it'll happen or not, probably not right now, because obviously they want to sell these collector's editions with all the cool statues and the cartridges and everything else. But um, well, also, even if there was a leak of a pre-order for a physical, that marketing stuff gets created and produced so far in advance they yeah. could they could have planned on one and then pulled the plug on it but that marketing material already exists because it gets developed or they, or they kind of put that pre-order there to just kind of see if there was the interest and if there wasn't enough interest in it then oh there weren't enough pre-sales to warrant physical production of the game right maybe that could be their eye yeah, because leak or not, or placeholder not, or not, it's already known to the gaming public, and they'll say something about it, regardless whether sure. it's a word or no, it's it's not. But Gamers yeah. aren't vocal, what are you talking about? Yeah, about that. <laughs> um, Get on the interwebs and say things no. and stuff. They just hold they it in quietly. I know For that. Years. <laughs> For years. <laughs> Powder keg. But, um, so, based on the trailer, though... From what they showed us, from what they what we've seen so far, um, are you on board? You know, is this getting your cash, your digital cash for a digital copy? I dash my digital cash. Yes, dash like Sonic. Uh, yeah, and it's it's funny. I'm actually down for this, and it's I I I liked Sonic when I had it on the Genesis because it was so cool. It was complete opposite of Mario. He was hip and fast and. He, he was 90s. I mean, he's definitely a product oh, of the 90s. He had an attitude. He ate chili dogs. Collect, yeah. Collected and, bling. And it's like, I, I still have fond memories of those games, and I, I liked it all the way up to Sonic Adventure 1, and then it's just, I, I think at that point, I have tried to love Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have I have had every good intention and in given that, that little fellow so many chances, and the closest I ever got was Generations. Uh, and I hear the then, racing transformed is actually pretty good. Yes, those were awesome. So, uh, but I don't really consider those Sonic games in the sense where it has like a little bit of everything from Sega's grand yeah. library of stuff. Right. So it's like it's like a love letter in Mario Kart form. Um, <laughs> and uh, but yeah, I mean that's cool. Uh, this looks like it. I mean, it, you know, it's uh, fan created. The music is all from fan groups. Uh, the artwork, like there's a cute little opening cinematic um, that shows like what the game's going to look like. And it's like a, a minute long intro. It's like 
really nicely done. It's done by Tyson Hess, who did like uh, some of the Archie comics, the Sonic titles, before that got canceled. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So, um, and that's really cool. So this looks like the ultimate fan project that's licensed, and, and I'm sure Sega guided them along, because I, I, for their flagship title, I don't think what modern Sega knows what to do with this uh, Sonic game. Well, they, they did know what to do with it. They handed it to somebody who loved it. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. What to, who knew? Yeah, what they to gave do it to the fans. That's, that's true. That's that's, so that's pretty they, smart on their part. Yeah, they they finally realized what to do with it. Embrace. That's yeah. true. That is true fan service. Yeah. Use the yeah. fans to service the product and make it and all that. Now, if only yeah. Nintendo would get on board with that mentality. With like yeah, like the uh, AM two R, the another Metroid two remake that they just squashed as soon as it came out. Um, that was a really great uh, fan. It was years, like eight, nine years, I want to say, the guy was working on the game. And mm-hmm. uh, finally released it, and it was basically Metroid 2, which came out on Game Boy, recreated to look more like the Super NES version. And it was really, it's really good from what I've played of it. And yeah. there was no embrace there. <laughs> yeah. Ban it. It's a fine line between, you know, intellectual property... Uh, what they can embrace and what they have to, you know, put the yeah. stomp down. On. Um, but I, 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 I've enjoyed playing Sonic. You know, I, I don't remember when I played it. Maybe been at my cousin's house. Um, and it's enjoyable and fun. And you know, it's it's obviously with the uh, earlier editions of the game. Um, so that that part appeals to me that it's you know similar to to the older versions. Um, and you say it's no physical copy, so you just download it. That yeah. seems easy. Um, I could probably, I could probably get behind this game. Throw it some cash. Get... Yeah. Okay. At, at least play it. <laughs> <laughs> if not yeah. cash, it at least play it. There... <laughs> yeah. The, the the collector's edition, I really really like all the extras that come in it. Um, I, I'm, I think that Sonic would look really nice on my desk. Um, uh, if there was a physical copy, then I'd be a little bit more excited about yeah. it, especially because, mm-hmm. you know, mo- most collector's editions go well over $100. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So... I think uh, this one's about 70 Yeah. Okay. Well, well if there's the physical copy of the game, then it'd be 100 yeah, exactly. So, so th- that's a little bit more reasonable. If it's a, if it's only gonna be seventy dollars, then um, you know I, I like the things that it comes with. So it'll probably get my cash there. Yeah. What mm-hmm. about so? Is this whole like no more physical copies of things? Is that like a is that a thing now? Is that like what it's gonna be it be like? You're just for, gonna download uh, everything for this style of game and a lot of content. Yeah. Because manufacturing costs are high. You know, what does that do to the you know brick and mortar stores, the GameStops and on you know video game stores? What does that do to them? It's really they close down. Yeah, yeah it's, gonna, it's gonna hurt in the long run. It's gonna hurt them. Yeah. Well, it's kind of an interesting side note because uh, GameStop actually did buy out Think Geek, like who makes all the cool crap that you really can't look at the site because you want to buy all the stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they did buy out think geek so you can see a lot of their stuff in stores now yeah because it's like i we're just at an age where i think physical copies are going to become less and as people become more accepting of it i mm-hmm. think gamestop by the end of the day is they're going to just become a high-end toy store with mostly game related toys they'll be right. the hot topic of toys yeah well, they have to you know diversify their <laughs> what's inside the store yeah. Well, yeah, and at least they're they're attempting to stay, you know, relevant. relevant they're still or, or, they still got ways. game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. game something. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So what what's the final verdict for all of us? I think it's uh, cash all around. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're trashing it. I didn't hear any. You know. No, no. So awesome. So. No, I'm good. Yeah. And it comes out this Tuesday, which uh, the fifteenth, which is wow. Sonic Tuesday all over again. Oh. So that's kind of like a big crazy had, deal. Someone of marketing was planning. Oh god, yeah, they they were going for every nostalgic beat they could possibly reach. Oh, uh, and one last thing, uh, they at 
the last minute they push the Steam version, the PC version, back like yes. a week. Yes. So, uh, no, two weeks. Week? Oh, two, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Yeah, it's oh, been wow, pushed back. It was that long. It's been pushed back two weeks, but um, for those that have pre-ordered, you will get a copy of Sonic One for free. They're oh, going to okay. gonna give you uh, that as kind how of how much would you pay? I know, right? Yeah, but the uh, chances okay. are, if they pre-ordered Sonic Mania, they probably already own Sonic One. I'm just saying. But I thought it was at least a nice little gesture. Yeah. That's an apology. A bone thrown. Right. Yeah. Cool. cool. I'm down. I'm down. All right. So yeah, right. Sonic Sonic Tuesday is coming. Get excited. Actually, as they're viewing this, it's Sonic Tuesday now. What? Yeah. Oh my god. How long have we been doing this video? How is this possible? <laughs> are, we ti- so, are we time lords? We are. Must be. I'm tired now. I'm going to take a nap. But anyway, <laughs> um, so that is our latest trailer trash in for Sonic Mania. This is a serious cash thing for us. So cash you uh, this Tuesday. How about that? <laughs> Damn it, I had to. I was trying to. I hate myself. I'm sorry. I think you need to have a jar that's just for like bad things. You yeah, you gotta put a, put a dollar in there. We're yeah. Celebrating 15 minutes of fame. That's yep. my dollar bad. In oh, I hate myself. Um, all right, anyway, as always, it's all geek to us. I'm going to go lay down for real now. I'm done. Yes, oh, yeah. Bye. Hi guys. Hey, Cut Is here. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Big shout out to Jim Taylor for being our first Patreon supporter. If you too want to hear us praise your name, get access to exclusive content, and help us maintain and grow this channel, check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash totalgeeklive.